Last week, we met former CARE College tight end Casey Fitzsimmons, the Chester Coyote, to top the MT Top 40's look at tight ends, but he was far from the only offensive weapon for the Fighting Saints during their first national championship runs, those back in the early 2000's. The number four receiver on the list would actually go on to set program records in single season yards and touchdowns, career receiving yards and touchdowns, while also tallying a single game receiving record of 250 yards in the 2003 National Championship victory. The number four wide receiver is Stevensville's Mark Gallick. He's the best receiver that's ever played here. But he nearly didn't. Gallick said to have seen recruiting pitches from Montana and Montana State during his prep career, but coaching turnover there would help lead to Carroll College. An All-State basketball player who upped the Yellow Jackets to two of their three straight State A appearances starting in 1999, Gallick earned second team All-State honors as defensive back and first team at running back. The Western A's Offensive Player of the Year quickly drew interest from Carroll College. It was amazing when we went down to recruit him, he was an All-State running back at Stevensville. And much like Justin Thomas, who was an All-State running back at Capitol, moved a wide receiver, get the ball to him in their hands and let him be a running back out there in space. But we went down to visit with Mark and uh, George Wasser's his coach. And George Wasser's one of my favorite people because I got a chance to coach uh, Joe Cummings down in Wyoming. And here's Mark in a shirt and tie. And I don't think Steve I had a dress code that time that you had to wear it, but he knew I was coming down to visit with him. And I was just so impressed with him at that time. Gallic also impressed as soon as he stepped foot on campus, eventually starting eight games as a freshman, catching 12 passes for 237 yards and four touchdowns. He added 372 receiving yards and one score as a sophomore, but his junior campaign in 2002 caught the nation's attention. Running routes next to Casey Fitzsimmons and catching passes from Tyler Emmert, Gallick found 84 balls come his way for 1,271 yards and 14 touchdowns. He was named first team All Frontier Conference and first team All American while helping the Saints to the 02 National Championship. He upped all of his numbers in 2003. 109 receptions, 1,966 receiving yards, that's a program record, and Carroll's single season receiving touchdowns record, 19 times he found the end zone. He also scored nine touchdowns in four playoff games. That included three in Carroll's 41-28 win over Northwestern Oklahoma State in the NAIA National Championship game, the Saints' second title in as many years. Kind of under-recruited, I think, and but probably the best route runner we've ever had and in terms of the different things that he could do uh, there wasn't anything he couldn't do we put him in the backfield you know we lined him up wide we lined him up in the slot and obviously as he became more and more known and feared we had to move him around you know in, in one of the national championship games I think he caught four passes out of the backfield just trying to get a mismatch because um, it's hard to double a guy out of the backfield you know um, but another one that had an unbelievable work ethic. Uh, I can remember um, Josh Reed, I think, was the guy from LSU at the time. And we had, I had recorded one of their bowl games. I think it was against Syracuse because he had 14 catches that day. And Mark and I sat down and watched how he stemmed routes and leaned on guys. Uh, and Mark would study that tape. Mark would study that day after day, week after week, about how to run routes. It's not just being fast, go down and take a quick left turn. It was about the steps, what foot was for, being on time when the ball was thrown, you're already into your break. But Mark was a real student of the game, and to have a quarterback like uh, you know, Tyler here, what a great compliment for those two for each other. Whether it's Tyler or Casey or, or Gallic, you know, that's, that's what separates those guys, you know, their work ethic and wanting to be great um, at everything. You know, Casey never wanted to come off the field. You know, obviously the quarterbacks don't come off the field much. Uh, you know, Gallic, the, the only time I got my butt chewed was from Tyler Emmert about Gallic was leaving him on kickoff return. <laughs> Tyler said we had a lot of people that can run fast, get Gallic <laughs> off of theirs, and, and he's probably right. Gallic capped his Carroll career with 3,846 receiving yards and 38 touchdowns. Each of those is a program record. He also holds the Saints record with 250 receiving yards in a single game. That came in that 03 championship. Following his playing days, Gallic would coach the Carroll College receivers for one year, 2004, and he was inducted into the Saints Athletic Hall of Fame in 2013. His 2002 and 2003 football teams were also enshrined in Carroll's Hall of Fame, 
thanks in part to arguably the best receiver to ever suit up in a Carroll College uniform. Well, don't tell Justin Thomas that, you know, or Anthony Clark or those guys, I mean, but uh, yeah, you can't, it's hard to rank one, two. What you guys are doing is, I don't envy you guys, but uh, I can't rank one and two. I mean, I can't, I can rank linebackers and that type of stuff at times, but there's, there's a lot of number ones. And Mark Gallick and Justin Thomas, Anthony Clark, those guys, they're certainly number ones. Uh, Travis Brown, a Montana guy, Anthony Clark was out of state, but uh, yeah, I mean, he's up there. And what he did with the ball and, and what he did with after the catch and, and his acrobatic catches that he had. You know, he was on ESPN Top 10 after the National Championship game his junior year. So uh, he was tremendous. He, he was tremendous. And I think he could have played in the CFL or been somewhere if he wouldn't have had a knee injury after his senior year. Mark Gallick's monster final two seasons. That's more than enough to land him number four all time on the MT Top 40's look at wide receivers nearly 2,000 yards to go with 19 touchdowns in that senior season. Stay tuned, the top three will be unveiled over the next few days. Richie Meldy, MTN Sports.